What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, really stoked to bring you this awesome lesson. It's a great tune. Uh, you're going to hopefully learn it right now. But not only that, I have a brand new uh, blues rock rhythm DVD set. And actually, if you were a member of my thing called The Coaching Club, you actually already had this sent to you in the mail. But I'm going to run a sale for those non-coaching club people. Uh, and the link is right down there, right, actually right down there. You can check it out, see what's in there. But I'm going to pick three comments from this video to win that set for free. You can see what's in it right there. Three comments. Going to pick three comments to win that set. That's all you got to do is leave a comment. And I will announce the three winners on my Facebook page for Guitar Jams, which there will be a link down there as well. I'm going to announce it on Friday. So good luck. But enough of my yapping, let's zoom in and learn this tune. Here we go. All right, the intro is kind of interesting. I'm gonna give you a couple different options. First thing I wanna do is just tell you what the chords of the intro are. They're G minor, which is barred on the 10th fret there, and then an F major, whole step down, then a D minor, then a C major. Just two shapes. But there's also like a high note going on. You know, just on that high E string. So you could also go like this, play the triads, and the bass player can play the G, F, D, C, and then as a guitar player, or whatever you're playing, you can play this little G minor triad right here, 10, 11, and 12, and a whole step down, but it's 8, 10, 10, because it's a major chord. So you got G minor, F major triad. Then we're going to play that same minor triad, but now with the ring finger on the 7th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, and that is a D minor triad. And then that same movement, a major shape, a whole step down here. So you got G minor, F, D minor, C, and then the second time. A minor. And you could play an A minor right there if you need to, or an A note open. Boom! Rock! So, let me uh, so a D chord. But mute that high E string there. You know, so you just don't hear it. And that gives you a D power chord, actually. So I go... Oops, sorry. You kind of heard it. Then my middle finger is going to the third fret of the A string. call that a few uh, different things. So check it out, you know you got, oh sorry. So the same vibe, we kind of muting that high E string. Then 
It's an index finger. Like that kind of thing. Same exact thing as that, but that finger now. And then a power chord on the first fret of the A string. Third fret, third fret. So one, three, three. And that's a B flat. That note's B flat. B flat power chord up to C power chord. Now let me explain something that I didn't learn in one sit down guitar lesson, but it's another factor here, is that the, the low E string, it's pretty much getting muted the whole time. I'm not even thinking about it because I just slowly, a little bit at a, at a time, learned how to do that. And then it's just like a subconscious thing. But so for instance, when I'm playing the D chord, you know, my thumb just naturally kind of mutes it because I don't want to hear it. And then on this one and this one, I actually let my middle finger, the tip of it, kind of mute, mute up and touch it enough so where it doesn't ring out. Hear that? You know, I'm pressed on that note, but I'm letting it touch that, that E. These are just good guitar techniques, actually, to, to just be aware of. And on those power chords, too, the index finger is touching that top string enough so where it's not there. So the next section, and then that's really all you got, you said shredding solo, uh, you got C major, which you know, you can play any of these as power chords if you need to, to G major, you know, if you need to, and then B flat major, which I'm going to play right here. <laughs> Probably the hardest bar chord. First fret barred and then ring fingers like an A major chord. So check it out. C to the G, then B flat down to A. C to the G. Where the B flat, C, C to D, dramatic tom drum beat. Was helpful. helpful. Uh, remember, three comments. You can win this DVD set. The link's right there. And also a link to my Facebook page down there because that's where I will announce the three winners. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.